Good morning. My name is uh, Pastor Brian Drebel. I am from Our Redeemer Luther Church, and I am joined today by my children, Gracelyn Marie Drebelo, Moses Elijah Drebelo, Joy Evelyn Drebelo, and Esther Joanne Drebelo. Uh, they're going to be part of our chapel today, and they're going to be the folks that listen. Why don't we begin our time with a word of prayer, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, oh, we thank you so much for your many blessings every day. Even in this very difficult time of sickness, you have seen that we have enough food to eat, we have water to drink, we have homes to be in, and we have clothes to wear. Beyond that, you bless us richly every day. Uh, you've kept the majority of us very healthy and safe. Today, Lord, uh, with our many blessings, we also ask petitions of prayer, and we ask that you would bless all those who are in our healthcare professions, all those who are on the front lines of protecting our community, our police, our firefighters, our EMTs. Uh, we pray for those who help stock our shelf, those who take care of us. Uh, Lord, we ask that you would protect them and keep them safe. As well, Lord, we pray for all those who have become sick, uh, that you would make them well again, give them strength and healing. And Lord, we pray for all those who have lost loved ones, who have seen their, their important people in their lives possibly pass away. Lord, remind them of the joy of the resurrection of Jesus uh, just recently on Easter Sunday who rose from the dead and so has uh, opened the way of life eternal to all of us, uh, give them the hope that someday Christ will return and raise all flesh from the dead. We pray all this in Christ's name, and his will be done in our lives daily. Amen. Well, let's take a moment to read some scripture for today. Our scripture lesson for this is the final chapel celebration for the year. What a crazy year it's been. My goodness. Please face forward. Please face forward. It's been a crazy, crazy year, hasn't it? Oh, all the things that have happened. We started up, and if you can even remember, we started up in the old building. My goodness. And then we got in the new building for a little while, and then here we are. Uh, things have changed. Let's hear a message of joy. From the Apostle Paul. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 24. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophecies, but test everything. Hold fast to what is good, abstain from every form of evil. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful. He will surely do it. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord. Didn't we? And then by the end of March, 
my goodness, we are out of here, and we just, just, we we're just barely getting our feet wet. We were just getting to enjoy the new schedule, the new way of things, and then it was all kind of taken away, wasn't it? What a crazy, crazy year. Instead of uh, knowing all the things here and going through graduation celebrations and using this chapel, what did we learn? We learned a lot of different things this year, didn't we? We learned about hand sanitizer, yeah? And we learned about face masks, yeah? And we learned about gloves. Boy, we spent a lot of time wearing gloves. I'm kind of tired of wearing gloves. And it's not just that. The time has been hard, hasn't it? I mean, we've been doing our schoolwork at home, and we've been enjoying each other's company a lot, and I, I as a father, have been really proud to watch you as kids spend more time together and get along with each other and build really strong relationships. But I also know that we're cooped up and we're struggling. It's been difficult to be this long in home, hasn't it? Uh, you want to get out, you want to go to the playgrounds, you want to go all kinds of places. Well, you're not alone. Do you know who else had to spend a fair amount of time locked inside a room? The Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul. Yeah. He was shipwrecked. He was beaten for being an apostle. Uh, he was mocked. Uh, and he went through all sorts of, of pains, both inner and outer. And he was in prison. He was in prison. He was under house arrest. In other words, he had to stay inside of his house for a long time in Rome. If there's anyone who can understand what you guys are going through, it's the Apostle Paul. Very much. But he knew something that we know too. Is Jesus still in the grave? No, no he's not. He's risen from the grave. The grave could not hold him. That small, dark, dank room couldn't hold on to Jesus. No, he rose from the dead. And so we have a hope that no matter how long we have to spend in our houses together, no matter how long it takes before we can go back to the things that we once knew, no matter what happens, we have eternity with Jesus to look forward to. Jesus has died on the cross. And what did his dying on that cross do for you? What did it do for you? What does dying on the cross do for you, Joy? Washed away your sins. Yes, it washed away our sins and it saved us from eternal death and damnation. You're exactly right. Have you ever played a game that you knew you were going to win? Maybe you played a game with Esther and you knew you were going to beat her from the very beginning. Yeah? Well, that's what life is. We play this game of life, but we play with the knowledge in our head that at the end of it, no matter what happens, we have forgiveness and salvation in Jesus Christ. And nothing can take that away. And that gives us joy. Even in the midst of our sorrows, even as we're going through these tough times right now, where we can't see our friends, we can't spend time with them, we can't see our family members, yeah? And spend time with them later. And for some people in our church body, some people in our school family, right? It's not just that. It's not just that it's been tough. Some people have lost jobs. Some people have lost people that they loved and cared about. Yeah. But even through all of this, we have a hope. We have joy. That we will have resurrection, salvation, and forgiveness in Jesus Christ. He is our Joy. You know, someday, I know it's hard to think about it, but someday we're going to forget about all this stuff. Yeah? There's going to be a day where we're going to move past all these things and, and we're going to think about it and it's just going to be a, a distant, fond memory about 2020. Right now, we're kind of struggling with it. But I want to reassure you. There is a point in the future where we're going to leave all this behind and never think about it again. We're going to enjoy each other's company. We're going to be back inside this school. We're going to use this chapel for chapel every day. It's going to be fantastic. We have joy. 
joy in the future, joy in forgiveness, joy in the gospel of Jesus, the good news of salvation and eternity. Okay? Well, let's make our closing bet. All of this we hope and pray for in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, we have some birthdays that are coming up. And if I could get your help for this, you guys. Are you ready? May 15th, Benjamin in Fantastic Fives. Happy birthday! All right. May 19th, Levi in Kids Day Out. Happy birthday! May 21st, Miss Herrick in our office, Mr. Wagmeister, our evening custodian. Happy birthday! May 23rd, Landon in 6th grade. Happy birthday! May 24th, Claire in 4th grade. In the threes class. Happy birthday! May 25th, Maverick in Fantastic Fives. Happy birthday! May 26th, Charlotte in the, th in the threes class. Happy birthday! May 27th, Miss Esser. Happy birthday! May 29th, Moses in Fantastic Fives. Gus. Happy birthday! And Gus in the fours class. May 30th, Wesley in the threes class, and Miss Cousy, our Kids Day Out teacher. Happy birthday! All right, you guys did a great job. Thank you. Can we, can we bow our heads and uh, pray together one more time? Please face forward, Moses. Jesus, thank you for all the joys of this school year. Thank you for the joy of teaching, learning, playing, and worshiping together. Thank you especially for the joy of salvation. Send us out sharing your joy with others. Amen. Now, for those of you who are watching at home, we are going to do a good oldie that we always, that I do quite a bit, and my children are going to help me. Uh, so if you want to stand up and you want to do the actions and sing along at home, we would encourage that. And I would say too, not just you, but you should grab your parents and make them do it too. So if I can get all my kids up here on my right hand side here. And you guys remember how to do all the actions? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Praise the Lord when trumpet sounds. Crashing symbols! Fruit and fire! 
Blessings.